Jamie. Hi. 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 Nice to see you again, Jason. Nice to meet you, Diane. Hi. Uh, I very much. Hi, Jamie Ruby. <laughs> nice to talk to you. I, I very much enjoyed the series. I watched it all last night in one shot, so, and I really liked wow. it. It was great. What did so, you think? I'm sorry? What did you really think? I, I really enjoyed it. I did not know a lot about him, so it was nice to, to find out about the story. So um, to start out, Jason, can you talk about how you physically transformed into Carrie? Oh, well, most, I mean, mostly it was other people doing the work. Those extraordinary costumes that were tailor-made by the best tailors in the world and that compensated for my various punches and twists. Um, and then Liz Headley, the our, uh, incredible makeup artist, did, you know, gave me a chin and eyes and hair and, and, and obviously prosthetics when he gets heavier and is older. So a lot of it's done for me. Um, and there's a certain walk which you can get from watching how he walks. The voice was the hardest thing. And uh, I didn't want to do the voice he does in the movies because I knew that nobody talks like that in real life. Uh, not the accent. I don't mean the accent. I mean his speech patterns were so similar, so repeated. Yeah. Uh, there was no way he was like that when he was being spontaneous. And I found uh, one, only one, illicit recording of an interview he gave once because he didn't do interviews and didn't really want. Uh, as people you know, because you've seen it now, as people who see the series will realize, he didn't want the world to see who Cary Grant really was. Cary Grant was Archie Leach, and behind closed doors, when he stepped off screen, he was someone entirely different. So. I did the outside stuff, the technical stuff, and walking and talking, but really the work wasn't that. That's t that's craft. The work was talking to Diane and listening to Diane and reading her book, uh, and uh, and being privileged to access her uh, her incredibly perceptive take on the damage in childhood that led to this this troubled man. And that's more difficult as an actor, but also it's it's what we live for. Right. Now, Diane, how did you, I mean, obviously this is based on your memoirs, but how did you become involved? I mean, did they come to you or was it your idea? Like, how did that come about? It, they came to me. Jeff Pope, about 10 years ago, read Dear Carrie, my book, came to me and said, let's make a movie. I said, well, let's talk about that. It's been 10 years. We talked it right into being. And now it's a four hour miniseries, which gives the audience a full bodied look at him, a full, a, a much fuller look at, at Carrie's life. And uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with the performances. I uh, served as executive producer. I was involved in the casting and in, in the biggest decision make, making and I'm and, and thrilled. I'm, I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. It's moving, it's heartfelt, it's, uh, it's great television. Yeah. Now, Jason, you, you said how obviously there weren't a lot of interviews and how you didn't want to you know emulate them for the movies but but uh but my question is did you then maybe did you work at all with the kids that played played him as well to kind of make sure at least you guys mesh together did you do that at all well by the time you by the time i'm playing him he's he has he's inhabiting this strange mid-atlantic accent so that's something that i was with i worked with callum lynch who plays uh carrie so brilliantly between about 20 and 35 uh, and we had the same dialect coach but he does the transition from bristol to mid-Atlantic and I take it further. So uh, the way we worked together was that our director did something I thought rather fabulously uh, anarchic and creative, which is he crossed people, uh, he used the actors across their timelines. So at one point I'm talking to my old mother and she's the 20 year old mother who'd scream me when I was a kid. At one point, poor Laura is in bed with me, Laura who so brilliantly plays Diane and she rolls over and there's 14 year old Gary. Um, I'm sure he had the day of his life, but uh, <laughs> But so we were around each other on the sets a lot. Was there, in doing this, were you surprised about a lot of, like to learn a lot about him or did you already know a good bit about him? I don't think anybody, unless they've read the biographies uh, and read Diane's book, knew that this man who was famous for one or two things, being uh, suave and debonair, was the very opposite. But who, who seemed the very epitome of certainty and masculinity and solidity was so fragile and so fractious and so angry uh, at the world and himself. Uh, so no, I knew none of those things. And hopefully people who watch it will learn not just that about Carrie, but about anybody whose lives they feel less than. Anyone whose life seems shinier and more perfect than their own, it's a reminder never to do that. Well, like I said, I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. So <laughs> it's nice to talk to you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.